Hello everyone, Kamate here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. And today, we need to get this guy's goods back. So we're going to travel along Route 116. And I'm going to try to avoid making eye contact with as many trainers as possible. It did not work for me this time. I wanted to fight them off screen, but I guess not. It's just a zigzagoon now, so. There's nothing to really worry about. Especially since I have my over leveled mushroom out in the front here. Yeah, lowering my attack is gonna save you from a uh, damage over time effect. And special attacks. Lowering my defense, now that might do something. Nah, I'm just kidding, you still stand a chance. Goodbye, Raccoon. A little bit of experience right there. And we have a, a new enemy here, a, a Machop. It's a pure fighting type. As you might expect, it excels at chopping you. Karate Chop. However, a couple of good confusions will uh, put it down really fast. Especially if it doesn't decide to try to actually damage me. Unfortunately, uh, poor Alice is going to take a little effort to actually get to level up. And here we have a en new enemy, Whisper. It's a rabbit. It also cries really, really loudly. I believe it's one of the, uh, it naturally learns a move called Uproar, which, well, lasts a few turns and prevents Pokemon from falling asleep. He's also, they also live in the tunnel over there, too. They, uh, react badly to loud noises. But some goon ran into the tunnel there, and, well, that's not good at all. Before we head into the tunnel, though, we're gonna cut down some trees. And avoid all of the trainers so I can fight them off screen. The main reason we want to do that, do this, is to get to those berries up there. And the item. We have Pinap Berries! And Chesto Berries! Very handy berries here. These cure sleep! Which is uh, very useful, especially if you combine it with a move called Rest, which fully restores you at the cost of putting you to sleep. Pineapple berries themselves have absolutely no use in battle. Why do they exist? Well, we'll find out later. Ether! They restore 10 power points to a single move. I'm just gonna drop off here. Wait for it. I don't wanna run. Because that will actually, as you see there, it'll actually attract their attention. Over over here and grab this next special. 
And now we have this guy here. Pico. And apparently that uh, scoundrel made off with his Pico, which is a wind gall. Rust Turf Tunnel. The only thing you're gonna encounter here is well, Wismar. Anyway, here's that uh that the various spade ran into the tunnel here. However, the tunnel is a dead end. And so he has no choice but to fight us. It's the same uh, grunt that we fought before, he just has a slightly stronger Poochiana now. No match for the mighty Suzaku, though. Suzaku. Suzaku. However you wish to pronounce it. His career in crime came to a dead end indeed. It's never easy. One of the rules you learn from playing RPGs. It's never easy. But we got the goods back, and the bird too. Ah, so this is Mr. Briny. We'll be heading back to that cottage later, I assure you. But for now, we need to go get the good, deliver the goods back. Uh, Wismar. See ya. Live and let live. Now, in the Emerald version, the executive would actually meet you back out here. The goon is gone, so he can go back to punching rocks. It's a good life for him indeed. In hindsight, I suppose I could have waited until later to actually go up here. But I'm in no real rush. Since I already beat that trainer, I could just run all the way back to him. This guy gives us another great ball, and thanks for uh, getting the goods back. And he also takes us to the president's office. Huh. Apparently this guy is so incompetent he's gonna ask a 13 year old to deliver it for him. He needs to go to the shipyard and sleep port. Unfortunately, we don't have an overland route to get to sleep port from here. And now the president himself wants to talk to us. Mr. Stone, the president of Devon. Okay, now he just got word about us. However, he has a personal errand for us to deliver. We need to deliver a letter to his son, Stephen. Yes, it is in fact his son. In return for asking us to do this favor, he gives us the Pokemon Navigator. Pokenaf for short. It has a map of the Hoenn region, region, and it records uh, trainers that you fought for. Certain trainers, anyway. And now we have a bunch of scientists here working on various stuff here. Been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And it works! 
These other two guys, they're not having so much luck. You're always welcome here. I, I believe it is this guy. No, it's not. Uh, one of them actually does mention that the running shoes were developed by Devon. But anyway, now we need to find a way to get to Slateport. There is no overland route that we can take from here at this particular moment. So we have to go by sea. And while we're going along the sea route, we can stop by uh, Dufort Town, which is kind of an island in the middle of nowhere. Also, our neighbors somehow managed to make it over here. In Emerald, they would challenge you to an optional battle. Let's see how is uh, the Pokemon looking? Okay. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I did give you the RM Barry for the battle, just in case. But we'll have a different item to give you uh, coming up really soon, actually. Well, Mr. Briny is a sailor, so uh, maybe he can help us out. But first, a little bit of backtracking and item collecting. X accuracy. And while I'm here, I may as well collect my berry trees. Delicious, delicious berries. And back into the Pedalberg Woods. Now that we can actually use Cut Outside of Battle, we can go into the east part of the forest. This skill here will give us a Miracle Seed, which bumps up the power of Grass-type attacks by 20%, more or less. Of course there's an item up there. Got a Great Ball there, and we continue going down here, there's more items that we can grab. X-Attack. I don't believe. Oh, there is! Tiny Mushroom! It's a syllable. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's there. And actually, before I forget, let's give the Miracle Seed to Belladonna. She'll be very happy with this. And here we are. Here's Mr. Briony's cottage. Since we were nice enough to rescue his wind goal, he's gonna actually go out of his way to ferry us to where we need to go. And off to Dufort we go. Nice little uh, luxurious cruise we've got here. Look at all those trainers we're going to be fighting later. And we've made it to Dufort. Yes, we do have a letter to deliver. We also have a gym here. And some other things. Why, yes, I am getting edge to fish. And he gives us an old rod. The only thing this is really good for? Catching Magikarp. Although there is the off chance that you will catch a tentacle instead. Unlike the previous two generations that... Well... Obviously the previous two generations have fishing rods, but in this generation, you actually kind of have to time when you want to, you know... Actually try to fish the Pokemon up. It's no longer as automated as it was beforehand. So 
Something gets trendy here, everyone picks up on it right away. Right away. And indeed, we will be able to take advantage of this really soon. But first, Pokemon Center. Rare stones there, huh? This is the guy we want to talk to. Trendy phrase. Secret television! You wish. Uh, let me see here. That's not what I was looking for. Danger battle! It's all the rage nowadays! Like trend setting in all of uh, two minutes. And you can go in here, then you'll have people uh, fawning over the trendy face. And uh, probably is the gym leader here. He's some sort of surfer dude, I suppose. All right, and we get a Silk Scarf. It bumps up the power of normal type moves by roughly 20%. I don't really have a Pokemon that can take real advantage of that, though. I could go to the gym. In fact, the game expects you to go to the gym. But I have other plans. We need to deliver that letter. Tentacle, often referred to as Zubat of the Sea. Which honestly sounds like a uh, food product, if you ask me. Tentacool actually has pretty great special defense. And it has Super Sonic, which is why people call it the Zubat of the Sea. Ow, poison. No, 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 that's why no one likes confusion! Alright, alright. Clear body prevents a stats reduction. Now, oh, for bluff's sake. Poison Sting is really, really obnoxious because it has a 30% chance to poison you. Yeah, see, how do you like being confused? I need to do something about this. Tentacle is a water poison type, so... That's why uh, confusion is super effective. Who gained the level? Very nice. And we defeated the fisherman. And now I have to take care of the poisoning. Peach berries. No, I keep doing that. Ha, 
I can't buy that fisherman. I'm gonna fight him later off screen. In this rock we find Stardust, another syllable. And over here we can find a free Pokeball. And welcome to Granite Cave. This guy isn't a trainer. Hey you! Steven is indeed here. And he has a Pokemon that knows how to how to use Flash. Talking to this hiker here will give you Hidden Machine 5, Flash. It brightens up uh, the darkness, but we need the gym badge to do for the gym. Which is why the game expects you to go there first. But I don't have time for that, so I'm just gonna run straight through the darkness here. I picked up some repel so I won't be bothered by random battles, hopefully. In fact, I'm gonna switch to Belladonna there because you can still run to enemies if they're higher level than your lead Pokemon. Granted, Cave is pretty straightforward, so I'm just. That's why I have no problem running straight through. I'll miss out all the items that you can get here, but I'm coming back here anyway, so. Because there's some items that we can't get right now anyway. These things here require Rock Smash to break through. We don't have that yet. Now, here it is. Examine this rock to get an Everstone, which prevents evolution. Automatically it is, you don't have to press B during evolution. We haven't actually gone an evolution yet. But see, very straightforward. Don't need Flash whatsoever. And in this cave here, we can find Steven Stone. And we give him the letter. And as a thank you, we get TM-47, Steel Wing. Which is a steel type attack, obviously. Has uh, the off chance of raising your defense by one step, too. You can even become the champion one day. Oh, what am I saying? He's still have a long way to go. And that is it for Granite Cave. There is a reason, a particular reason why I want to come here first. As opposed to waiting until after the gym. I knew it seems odd, but I actually want to go back and talk to the Devon president. You can talk to Mr. Briny here, and choose to go back to Petalburg. So after I make it back to his cottage, I am going to cut out and see you back at Devon Corporation. I'll return shortly, Mr. Briny. Hold on. And we are back. And now that we've delivered the letter, we can talk to the president. And he gives us yet another reward for doing this. We get the experience share! A bit earlier than the game really intended you to get it. Basically, you know the bait and switch method that I was doing earlier in the Let's Play? If you equip this to a Pokemon, it will automatically gain 50% of the experience from a battle. Very useful indeed. So now I no longer have to bait and switch to train my wicker Pokemon. And this guy here will nervously uh, fidget waiting for you to deliver the goods. Before I do that though, I still have to uh, deal with Brawly at the Pokemon Gym there. there. Will I be able to overcome him? Or will I simply wipe out? Find out another time. I'll see you there. Take care now.